I'm Roberta Bettinetti, coming from Italy. I am an aggregate professor at the University of Insubria, Como, Italy. My topic is uh, ecotoxicology. I'm here. The idea is to try to give a, a, a small contribution to this research and to understand how the traffic chain of the late natural uh, works. Uh, we went to the to the watershed and we took some samples from the stream and then we went until the lagoon where we caught some sediments. The sediments are a good um, place where we can find some remains of uh, the communities which live which lived in the past, which live in the, in the present. Each sediment um, was digested with a procedure which uses hydrogen peroxide mm -hmm. here, which is um, a very strong oxidant, and we put inside the, the sediments, and then we boiled the sediment to uh, left the reaction to be faster. Um, the remains uh, of diatoms, for example, uh, are well preserved in sediments because uh, they are made of silicate. This is the sample of the sediment we took uh, in the streams, and then we take uh, an, um, one gram of each of these samples and we put them in a glass tube and then we added um, 10 or 15 milli milliliters of hydrogen peroxide to digest the organic matter of the sediment. The next step is to let the sediment um, settle to take out the hydrogen peroxide and to put water and then was, uh, it is to be done for several uh, times, more or less three or four times, okay? Then after this washing, we put the sample. The final sample is like this. So you have a solution in which you have the, the, the diatoms uh, in, in water. And then we can do the, the permanent slides. To do the permanent slide, we need a slide made of glasses. So, the next step is to is the evaporation of the solution with diatoms. So we put the slide on a warm plate. In this case, we have the sun, so we can use it the sun for the evaporation. In other cases, if we have a warm plate, we can be it's useful. So we put uh, some samples on the cover slide here. To cover all, all the cover slide and we wait until it's evaporated as you can see in this other sample. Now step to prepare the permanent slide. We use uh, this mounting liquid, which is called Nafrax, which is uh, useful because uh, it can be a great mountain for diatoms or silicates in general. So we now we put two drops on the cover slide. always on a warm plate. And then we push the cover slide. In this way, we obtain a permanent slide, and then we, are, we will look at the microscope, and uh, we will try to analyze the diatom community.
the data will be useful to understand better the basis of the traffic chain and then to go along the traffic chain and to understand better what flamingos are doing.